What's up YouTube? Welcome back to the Wallet Monkey channel where we give you all the intel you need to grow your wallet. WalletMonkey.io is an amazing resource. It's free, no games, no gimmicks, just for you to be able to get all the intel you need so that you can make a better plan and you can grow your wallet. So today, let's talk about best credit cards with no credit check. Yes, these are actual credit cards. Real swipe them, get them plastic, chew on them, do whatever you like with them. Credit cards with no credit check. Now these are pulled from a resource that we've got, which is right here, where we go through credit cards, credit builder accounts, and other kind of weird savings account loan hybrids that build your credit and don't do, some of them do credit pull, some of them don't, but they are really geared towards those, let's call it that have a FICO ranking of bad or somebody who's got brand new, who's brand new to building credit, maybe they're a brand new immigrant that's gone through the process and now they can, you know, they're a resident, they can start building credit. They are 18, just, you know, fresh, fresh and trying to build credit uh, out of the gates. You know, some scenario like that, rebuilding from uh, bankruptcy or derogatories that you've now gotten removed off of your report. And so there is a big, long laundry list and we go through all kinds of data points here across the top. So this is a great resource for you. So this is walletmonkey.io. You'll see it at the top menu. So let's get back into it here. All right, here they are. We've got the Open Sky, which is a secured credit card. Now I didn't say that they would be unsecured. This is a uh, secured credit card and no credit pull, 29% APR, I believe. So the first one we've got is Open Sky, which is a secured credit card. The APR is 17.39%. There's an annual fee of $35. No cash back options, not a whole lot of options here. You can go from minimum deposit of 200 up to 3000. And like I said, it's a pretty restricted card, but it's it's no it's no thrills, no frills, right? It's no credit pull at all. Just walk in the door today, set up your set up the amount that you want to deposit and get rolling. So I do love it for that because it knows exactly what kind of product it is, doesn't try to be something else. Next is uh, Tomo. Okay, let me pull up my notes here. This is gonna be one of those where you hook up your bank account, your plaid. Uh, API services are similar and they they're gonna look at your you know your um, regular checking account activity to to be able to I guess qualify you to getting into one of their credit cards so this has a hundred to ten thousand dollar essentially limit placed on this I've got a whole section of notes on the page I just showed you so let me fly through these and then maybe we'll break down some of the notes chime is next um, this is direct deposit based okay uh, borrow money is up to $10,000. I don't have any APR information on Chime or Avaro. Go to Bank is 22.99%. This is direct deposit based as well. All right, so Go to Bank is next. We've got 22.99% APR. It's direct deposit based. So, you know, again, I just rattled off two, three direct deposit options. Just you're going to have to really do your research and pick like one, you know, because how many different places are you going to have direct deposits split up to do this, right? And essentially, I would either pick something that has like this whole online ecosystem that you see are, are going to be a good long term play for you or just go with, you know, getting involved with a bank and putting in the six to 12 months there before looking at getting a credit card with with one of them. Sable is prime plus six nine nine percent uh, and this is a ten dollar to ten thousand dollar secured credit card. You get one to two percent cash back. And next one finance, we've got no limit on this. I don't have uh, APR information on that uh, one finance. Oh, and then self Inc. So self Inc. They get you in the door with a credit builder account, which is like a 25, 35 or $45 a month credit builder. Like think of it like a savings account, pretty good APR. And then at the end you get all your money back. But after three months of being involved in that, you can qualify for the for the credit card. So the credit card is they just pull what you've already paid into the credit builder account and you can use that for your now credit card. So they kind of get you in with the credit builder, which reports as a installment loan. And then they allow you to get into a revolving credit card, which reports as a completely separate thing, um, but it's three months down the road. So that's kind of like the little gotcha there. All right, so let's pull this back up. See, here's the breakdown of all the information. So what I think I'll do is I'll just give you guys the link under the video and you can check this out for yourself. You can see, Again, we give the data points of what APRs they've got, annual fees. The actually the credit card, is this a deposit based or what's the credit limit? Auto pay option, does it report to all three? Kind of all the way at the end there, so you can just slide this over. And then you'll see, does it report to all three? And you can see that um, 
very few of them don't report to all three. So again, you can kind of weigh this out for yourself and filter it accordingly to uh, make your decision on what you might want to get involved in. And then we've got all the relevant notes underneath again to to help you understand like what it is outside of that just jump over the ones that look good jump over to their website do your due diligence and then decide you know which ones you're going to pull the trigger on but there you go there is the best credit cards uh with no credit check thank you so much for checking us out comment below if you got something to say or just help us with the algos like it again does the same thing subscribe and hit the bell notification so that you don't miss out on any future videos all right see ya